Okay, in my previous video, I talked about uh, laws of logic and why they aren't um, just like feelings that we get. You know, there's no such thing as like an epistemic ecstasy that we feel at a certain point, and that is, you know, why we accept or reject the law of logic. Okay, in this point, um, in this video, what I want to do is I want to talk more directly about the skeptical position itself. Okay. Um, so let's clarify the terms a little bit, okay? So let's 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 more closely, ex you know, examine what the skeptical position is, okay? The skeptical position isn't that I don't have any beliefs, right? The skeptical position is that I do have beliefs, but nevertheless, those beliefs could be largely wrong. You know, a substantially a substantial fraction, or perhaps even all of those beliefs could be wrong, right? So I claim that. Um, uh, you kind of went too far in your asshole god of skepticism example, right? And by the way, I did see the asshole god of skepticism. I don't care what you say. You can't deny what I saw with my own eyes. You know, I, I had this experience, and and nobody can deny that I saw the asshole god of skepticism. So, anyway, um, but anyway, you went a little bit too far, okay? Because what you did was you 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 had the asshole god of skepticism not leave me with any beliefs, right? You, you had the asshole god of skepticism turn me essentially into a sock puppet. Right now, we don't attribute beliefs to a sock puppet. We don't attribute beliefs to a tape recorder. Right? Why is this? Okay, it's like well, think about this. What what does it mean to have a belief? You know what what you know beliefs are like mental states or mental entities. Right? What 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 properties do they have to have in order to be considered to be beliefs? Why don't we we attribute a belief to a tape recorder, say, or to a sock puppet? Right? Well, it's because we can't in attribute. We can't inter interpret that that entity as having these beliefs. Whatever it's doing, its behavior, doesn't fit into an overall pattern of of you know beliefiness, basically, right? So, so basically, what I mean is, you know, in order to attribute somebody as having a belief, beliefs, you know, they bear logical relations to each other, they bear normative relationships to each other, they they fit into an overall pattern of of coherence. And if they don't do that, we don't call them beliefs, right? So what you have to do, you can't have the ass asshole god of skepticism turn me completely into a sock puppet, because what that does is basically erases me altogether, right? I, it's not like I have any beliefs at all under that circumstance. In fact, in a very real sense, I just cease to exist under the circumstances, right? What what the asshole god of skepticism has to do is, is it has to mislead me, right? It has to leave me with beliefs. It has to leave me with an overall coherent. Uh, framework it has to leave me with a overall coherent worldview, right? But nevertheless, that worldview has to be mostly false, right? So uh, that's the problem. Okay, so you have to be very careful when you're setting up this 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 uh, scenario here, right? So the skeptical position is not that I don't have beliefs. The skeptical position is I do have beliefs, but these beliefs are wrong. Okay, now no, notice the normative language there. If, if you've got the big ears on, right? You know. Uh, my beliefs are wrong. Okay, in other words, there's the the assumption there that they can be wrong, that there's something to be wrong about, right? Okay, so here's how it works, right? So beliefs, what what does something have to have in order to count as a belief, right? A belief has to have. Uh, okay, there's no such thing as a belief that exists only by itself, right? Beliefs come and block. So let me demonstrate what I'm talking about here, right? Suppose I have the belief that it's 96 o'clock, right? That's a false belief. But I can't have that belief in absence of any other belief, right? I have to have that belief as part of a whole package of beliefs. I have to believe that there is time. I have to believe there is clocks. I have to believe that o'clock is a measure of time, right? So, and all these beliefs have to have some sort of normative, they have to have some sort of coherent structure, or that we just, we just, we just don't call them beliefs, right? So that's really uh, the answer to this skeptical position, because in order to attribute a false belief to somebody, right, you have to attribute a whole other package of belief to them, and the rest of this package has to be true, right? So a false belief is kind of like a joke, right? There's the setup, and then there's the punchline, okay? So, so the setup is all these true beliefs, and then the punchline is this false belief, okay? So, for example, another another one of your examples, you know, belief that an apple is a cup, right? Okay, yeah, I can have a false belief that an apple is a cup, sure. But in order to have that belief, I have to have, you have to set it up before you give the punchline, right? The setup is 
there exist such things as cups, which is true. There exist such things as apples, which is true. There are physical objects, which is true. All this other kind of stuff has to come in there. All these true beliefs have to come in there. And then you can give the punchline of the, the false belief, right? So basically that's how it works. What the deal is, is that, you know, in order to attribute someone a false belief, you first have to attribute to them a whole bunch of true beliefs, all right? So that's why I don't think your asshole god of skepticism scenario really has reached closure yet. Okay, you've shown how the asshole god of skepticism can give me some false beliefs, okay? But by no means have you or this asshole god of skepticism, when he actually appeared to me, um, has demonstrated to me that the asshole god of skepticism can give me entirely false beliefs, right? So I hope this makes it a little bit a little bit clearer. Maybe you can sharpen up your argument. Maybe you can sharpen up your uh, your um, your position here.